Okay, so here's the uh, example of clustered AS setup. So these are regular capture zones. They're integrated into uh, regular into regular uh, random AS graph. Here, here are they. And here are the sub flags. They are not connected to a AS graph. Uh, and AS graph not not doing anything to them. So basically, here it is like just squad cluster capture zone component, and it's marked as a, to be as a primary zone, like the big sector objective. If it won't be the primary zone, it would act as a regular capture zone. So, and it have four sub flags. These four sub flags. You, uh, you can uh, these sub flags. You, you, you can see them. You can see them here. One, two, three, four. So basically, it acts like this. We get into the cap zone. We cap it. Oop. First one. You need to cap all. They can uh, all connected uh, capture zones to be able to uh, cap that that cluster uh, that cluster. Number capping all four clusters and then we start in capping uh, uh, whole sector what like when we're controlling all points in the sector we're capping the, uh, the sector itself now sector is capped and now we go and, and cap the regular bit that's uh, that's route to three the regular capture zone like vanilla one it's totally compatible in, and can be used uh, in the mix inside the regular graph. And when we cap it, all the cl all clusters are getting mm, all clusters are be becoming uncapable. Now, if we switch teams. We fly back to that capture zone. We capture it. And now all sub flags in that cluster are available to cap. But to recap it back, you need to get control on all the sub flags. Like if we cap one, only one, for example, it won't do anything. But if we cap all four, we'll start to cap uh, the cluster zone itself. By the way, these uh, sub flags are also regular cap zones in this setup. So it doesn't need any additional setup. Just place uh, four flags uh, not connected to AS graph and just uh, add them into the test cl in the cluster zone uh, component. Now 
now we capped, and now, look, we're capping. Now we're neutralized, we're still capping. And done, we're, we capped. And previous zone is, is blocked. Same as in regular AS because it's uh, totally uh, using the, uh, the st standard mechanisms of AS and uh, AS handles uh, like like it's regular uh, AS graph handle uh, handles all the things so it's basically the same as the regular AS it's just uh, cluster uh, rules of capital these cluster zones are different that's all. So once again. All we need to do is to place three normal captures, uh, like uh, not necessarily three, just in any amount of, uh, of the needed sub flags, and then just add them here in the secondary zones array, and tick this primary zone. That's all. And to uh, to ease the setup, we can set up uh, like. Time to cap for the cl for the cluster uh, cluster zone as in regular AS zone, uh, like it. Uh, f for example, here it's set for 11 seconds, so so it would ne it would be needed to uh, hold control of wall sector all four uh, sub flags for 11 seconds to get control on the uh, on that cluster and. To e as again, uh, I say uh, you don't need else uh, to set up the capture times on each of the capture zones here uh, in the each of these gels. You can just add the uh, you you can just set it here, like uh, cluster uh, component and mm, oh fuck I I forgot to. I forgot to expose it. <laughs> so it would be like here. I'm gonna time to cap secondary, instance editable, and instance editable. So basically, it would be here, like cluster, cluster component. Now, time to cap secondary objective, player adventure to cap secondary objective. So you don't need to set up each of these objectives, uh, uh, sub flags, individually. You can just set it here in the cluster in the cluster settings, and it will be propagated automatically to them, to the sub flags. So if you want to set up that sub flags on this particular objective should be capped in five seconds. You just set it he right here. Time to cap secondary five. And if you want to uh, sub flags to be captured by single soldier, you actually uh, you do the same. You set it here in the cluster settings, not the in not, not here. Not here. You just set it. Like uh, in the class uh, in the cluster settings, and cluster will automatically propagate these settings into the sub flags. So something like like something like this.